Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. Today we're going to talk about using try, catch, and finally, and how we can utilize this in our framework. So, what is try, catch, and finally? Um, if you notice sometimes when you write something and it gives you a, an error, say um, thread dot thread dot sleep one hundred. Um, it starts yelling at you and saying, hey, can you either add an exception to method signature, which is this, or put a try catch finally around it. Um, so what it's telling you is if, if at any time this error interrupted exception is thrown, then anything in here will run uh, instead of finishing out what's inside the try. Um, I'm going to show you an example of this with um, elements and if it's present. So if you go to your base page, uh, well, this is where I'm going to put it. <clears throat> I'm going to do a um, a public void or boolean um, verify element is present. I could someone could probably name this something better, but yeah. Uh, and this passes in our web element element. The uh, reason I'm passing in element is because my framework, I'm using the the page factory. And with the page factory, they use uh, elements. So, and it's easier to use that guy to be passed in. Um, you can also um, do by or locator or anything like that. Um, so web element element, <clears throat> I'm going to put my try. And I'm going to try... To, to make sure the element's present, I'm going to try to make a call for it. So I'm going to say element get tag name. Because uh, most elements will have a tag name. Um, I'm, I think like 99% of every element has a tag name. Um, and if I'm wrong, please comment below and correct me. Uh, but has a tag name. And th if it's not there, I want to throw a no such element exception and do something. So <clears throat> in this case, if there is a tag name, I want to return true because it will say, hey, this element is here. Here it is. Return true. Um, if it tries to get element get tag name, it will throw a no such element exception. In that case, I want it to do something instead. And that is going to be return false. So now it will return uh, false instead of true. <clears throat> this, this is a, there's other ways to doing this. Um, this is just for my example uh, for try catch. Um, but with it will, in try, it, it will run you know, lines and lines of code. Uh, until any of these hit uh, anything that you're trying to catch, it will then run anything in here. And you could do other catches too. So... <clears throat> If I, let's say you're getting really fancy with your code, and you want to say assert true and that this tag name dot is empty, um, I can either, actually, I'm just going to assert false. Assert false, <clears throat> this is empty. So, oh, it's yelling at me. So, what is it yelling at now? Okay. There we go. So, <laughs> I'm going to have this, like us say I just want to put the assert here, and this is just for this um, example. Let's say I'm assert false that this is empty. Now, if the element's not present, it will throw as no such element exception. Now, if, in fact, it isn't empty, but this returns true for some reason, we want to do something as well, and we can put another catch, and we can say uh, return null, or no, don't do that. Um, return false. <clears throat> Maybe do something else here. Do something. Um, and now, if this is an assert that fails, it will actually catch it and then run this set of code instead of this code. 
So with catch, a try catch, you can, you know, really, uh, it's really useful, really useful. Um, so I recommend trying to, um, for those who haven't, aren't familiar with this, um, to use it. This is an example um, that I use actually often. Um, now, I'm going to say for this specific example, uh, be very careful if you're using implicit weights. If if you're using an implicit weight and you set it to five seconds, it will try to, if it can't find this element in the five seconds, it will wait the entire five seconds before it returns false. And that's bad. <laughs> you know, Because if you're trying to verify element is present uh, multiple times in a, in a single test case, there three times already 15 seconds you're running your test at. Horrible. Um, I thought, well, maybe not the full 15 seconds, but you get what I'm saying. Um, especially if everything's failing and you're not like paying attention to the job and it's running in the background. And all of a sudden you come back and you're like, what took an hour? Um, and like the pages weren't loading and it keeps running these tests. So um, be very careful when doing something like this. <clears throat> now, um, there's a third part for this and it's finally. Now, with finally, you have a new block of code that um, if you're running this try and it ever catches something, it will run this. No matter what, even after try or after catch, it will run finally every single time. So <clears throat> uh, I guess I can just actually show you this example um, inside a test case really quick. Um, we'll do this. I'm going to create a test case on the fly, <clears throat> load page, um, test. Um, try, catch, assertion, error, error, e, and then finally, <clears throat> search true, false, and if I spelled catch properly, that would help, I think. Um, System.out.print, ln, um, say, caught me, and then finally will be <coughs> system.out dot print ln and this guy will say finally here and just for the fact that we're going to test this out tried it <clears throat> so right now I'm going to do true if I run this guy I should see a tried it finally here run this in so I have look tried it finally here now, if I say false, it should try. It will then catch on this er assertion error. So I should say, caught me. Oh, caught me finally here. So no matter what, it will always go to the finally uh, after everything runs. Um, and this is really useful too with your tests. Um, sometimes you'll run into a case where you'll have like an after. You're, you notice that a few test cases need to do something at the end um, to like reset, maybe do like uh, driver dot um, navigate dot refresh. And you need to have this happen at the end. And maybe maybe not all of them need to. So already this rules out your after method because this will happen a refresh every single time. But you didn't want to do it every single time. You only wanted to do it on these two test methods. So what you can do is you can, even if you're not even expecting any kind of um, catch, um, a neat trick that I like to do is I'll do a try. And at any time this fails, no matter what, pass or fail, um, it will still run the finally and still refresh. Uh, so... This is a neat little trick that I, I do. Um, this try finally is that you know is, is useful and you it's it's legal code. So <clears throat> uh, 
Um, even if you're not going to catch anything, which I recommend catching, um, especially if um, you you want to like log something like this failed and this is why. Um, that's another good reason to also do a catch. Um, for example, if load page and it threw an exception, you can, if it fails and you want it to continue forward, you can do some kind of printing in the console saying, this page failed to load or um, FB main page failed to load and then it will continue doing its thing. So now you'll have a nice console of what failed and why, maybe even adding in the, the get message or, or something along those lines. Um, you have logging for this. Um, that's a later episode. Um, but <clears throat> that's kind of a, a good introduction to try catch finally. Um, I think later videos I want to try to start putting in more test cases and a lot of these things that I'm teaching you, these little features and um, little um, things, tips here and there, will start to surface and actually see a real life uh, scenario of when to use try catch or explicit weights and all of those. Um, so that kind of concludes my try catch finally uh, tutorial. Um, so Hopefully this is really helpful for you guys. Please comment below. Uh, let me know if I miss something. I need to go into more detail about something. Anything. Um, I'm willing to uh, listen and, and I want to get this information out to you guys. Uh, Till then, this is QA Automan signing off.